Today's going to be a quick tips and tricks video, so we're going to start uh, by showing you how to do um, selective EV changing or selecting selecting a certain part of the image and changing the EV value. So in this image, you can see we got a whole bunch of sky, um, and in this particular exposure, it's obviously washed out. This is our uh, brightest exposure. So we're going to go ahead and select all three exposures in our bracket here and move it into Photomatix Pro. Click OK. We're going to leave these options, these two options here at the bottom checked. We're going to process. And there's our final image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter the sky here, but leave the rest of the image alone. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to selection mode at the upper right hand corner, and I'm going to choose magnetic lasso. And you can change the value here. I'm going to change this to about a 40 and we'll leave the contrast at medium there and that's basically determining what it's picking up and what it's not so I'm going to start in the upper right hand corner here and just click and drag while holding down the mouse button and I'm going to do this rather quickly and you can see you may not be able to see the little dots you'll see them in a minute but for how quickly I'm doing this um, I think this is pretty impressive how well Photomatix Pro is determining um, basically the difference between the foreground and the background. Um, it's doing a pretty good job of it for as quick as I'm doing this here. So we'll just drag this across and again what I'm just doing is I'm lassoing in the sky here and we're going to go and change the exposure value for that particular part of this image manually. So we'll drag this up All right there and we'll go ahead and click and then we're going to right click on the mouse and this gives us the option to change the value. So I'm going to choose the darkest. There you go. So you can see that char changed the sky to the darkest exposure for the sky, but left the rest of the image alone. Uh, we'll try the, the normal exposure here, and that looks okay. And there's the brightest exposure. Obviously, that doesn't look too good. So I'm going to go back to the darkest exposure. And this just gives you a quick idea of how you can change um, certain elements of your photo, change the exposure value, but leave the rest of it alone. And um, so I'll go ahead and uncheck selection mode there. And that's what it looks like when it's all done. Pretty cool, pretty quick, and uh, a good little tip or trick, if you will.